Hello and welcome back for another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you a simple trick which AI, all the other things won't help you, only yourself will be able to make a difference. We're going to go for images like this, do this. Stick around and I'll show you. Thanks for tuning in on my channel guys. For those who are new, my name is back again. I'm an Amarai Radio Gaffer. In my channel, we cover things from basic to advanced Amarai topics, tutorials just like this one. If you haven't subscribed yet, considering doing so. With this simple trick I'm gonna show you, even though you have the world best protocol, it doesn't matter if you don't know how to use it correctly. In the end, patient positioning. Let's go to the scanner and I will show you. So as you can see here, in the beginning, I show you two images, one which you can see the signal intensity is much brighter there compared to the other side. It's because positioning of the knee was totally wrong. The main thing about this is that whenever you position the knee, be aware that the knee should be in the middle of the coil, not too much on the one side or too much on the other side. Or else you will get different signal intensity as you can see here. This was done on a 3T, but doesn't matter, it will be the same on 1.5 as well. You can see I put too much cushion on the one side of the knee. So the other side was pushed too much towards the coil. Here, it was put too cushion on the side of the knee. So it was, the knee was more or less in the middle. So the signal intensity is way different. So in the end, this means that if you have a good protocol, I don't know how to use it, you will get bad images, right? So this is very important. But that's it, guys. I hope you find this video valuable. If you would close up, I do have a question for you. Do you usually be aware of positioning the knee in the middle of the coil each time whenever you're doing a knee imaging? If so, let me know in the comment section down below. If you like this video, do not forget to push the like button and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you get a ding ding whenever new things we are coming up. Take care and I'll catch up with you in my next video. Peace out.